Good morning. My name is Miss Anna. Some of you might remember me from VBS in the past. Together, this week, we're going to be learning about the Bible together every day, and I'm super excited. So I wanted to start off by learning a Bible verse that we'll be talking about all week long. It goes like this. Love each other as I have loved you. That's Jesus talking to us. That's why we point up when he says I. So let's do that one more time. If you remember it, you can help me. Love each other as I have loved you. And that's John 15, 12. We'll be talking about that verse and some others later this week. In our story today, we learned about how God and Jesus love us. Do you remember some of the ways in our story that Jesus showed love to people around him? One of the ways was that he healed people. So someone that was sick or hurt, Jesus was able to heal them and make them feel better. That's showing love to people. Jesus also gave people food when they were hungry. That's showing love to people too. Let's think of some ways that we can show people around us that we love them. So we're going to play a game. I'm going to tell you something, and if you think it shows someone you love them, give me a thumbs up. And if you think that's not showing love, give me a thumbs down. If you share toys with someone, is that showing love? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Sharing toys is showing someone that we love them. What about taking turns? That showing love or not? You're right. Taking turns shows someone that we love them. What about if you knock down someone's tower when they're building it? Is that showing love or no? No, if we knock down someone's tower, that might make them feel sad. So that's not showing love. What about if you build with someone else and you build a tower together? You're right, that's showing love. Let's do one more. What about if you're yelling really loud at someone else? Is that showing love or no? No, yelling is really loud and can hurt someone's ears and can hurt someone's feelings too. Great job playing that game. Let's think of some people who that we can share love to. Can we share love to our mom and our dad? What about our brother and sister? What about our grandma or grandpa? What about our neighbor that lives next to us? We can share love to anyone in our family or any of our friends or anyone that lives around us or that we know. Let's do our Bible verse one more time and then we'll say a prayer. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Great job. Let's pray. When we pray, you can fold your hands and close your eyes, and we're going to talk to God now. God, we love you, and we thank you for loving us. Please help us to do kind things for the people we love every day. Amen. All right, friends, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to our day one of crafts for our uh, country fair BBS class. And we're happy to have you. So right now I have here my family. This is the Meyer kids. Kenzie Meyer, who is our helper. Noah Meyer, he's he's quite the artist. And then Taylor Meyer, Holcomb Meyer. Anyways, today our project is going to be, we're either going to do, we're doing hand puppets hand puppets so we'll be painting or coloring the hand puppets so we have to make sure we get them right there in the fold so we can use them like that we can do cows and we can do pigs because those are farm animals anyways I'm gonna let Ken's help you out here um so what we're gonna have is we have our piece of paper and then all of our crayons that we're gonna use to color this so for um I'm doing a cow and Noah's doing a pig and Taylor is also doing a cow. And so um, I'm going to start by coloring my cow uh, brown and then um, we'll color the mouth pink 
and then I will glue it on to my paper bag for the puppet. So y'all can start coloring now. So it's a few minutes later and um, I'm almost done with my cow. I'm working on the other ear now and I'm going to make the horns probably black and then move on to the mouth. Noah, can we see your piggy? Oh, that looks great. Good job. Can switch one with your brain. Very nice. Okay, so we're um, we're gonna start cutting, and then we will glue it onto our paper bags. When you glue it onto the paper bag, make sure it's on this side to where it lifts up like this, and you don't want to put it on the back. But also make sure to write your name on the back here. <laughs> so just before we start gluing, make sure you write your name on the back. The back is the flat side, so then you go on the front side. What you'll do is you'll take your glue stick and you'll take um, the head part of the cow and you'll um, make sure you put it upside down. And this part right here, this little flap, you'll glue it like this. Now, are there other kinds of glue that we're going to be trying to? Yes, I have the mini glue dot. Those might be in your packet. I'm hoping to have them in your packet. When you lay your cow down, just make sure you have it like centered in the middle, just like that, so you can lift it up like this. You For the mouth, the you'll, you'll lift here, this up a little bit, and you'll see right here. here, you'll put your glue down, and then you'll put your mouth down. So it looks just like that. All right. And Taylor, how are you using the glue dots? I'm putting one in the, I'm putting one by the bottom of his mouth, and I'm putting two on the sides of the cheeks, and one up by his um, hair. Okay. okay, make sure that it would fit on there though. Mm -hmm. Gotta maybe we should put the glue dots mm -hmm. on the paper bag. Oh yes, true. Okay. Wait, okay. no, put your hand in the back in the bag. Projects all done. <laughs> And they should look like this at the end. Okay. Wow, I think you guys did a wonderful job. Yeah. Make sure you keep a, uh, keep a clean workspace and pick up everything after you're all done. Everybody have a nice day. And we'll mm -hmm. see you again. Bye. Thank you for coming.